Hey guys, what's going on? Uh, how are you doing? I've got a new webcam for one thing. I bought it in the Black Friday sales. Uh, secondly, I'm going to be redoing the way I do champion guides on the channel. At the start of the guide, we are going to be talking about why pick this champion, what counters this champion, um, and then also I'm going to be talking about power spikes and some other bits, okay? So, first of all, why pick Oriana? Oriana in general, ooh, ooh, G, 2, A. Yeah. Go do my boys G2A a solid and shout them out. Uh, thanks for sponsoring. There is a reference link in the description below. As I've said, they've basically kept this channel going even when I've been sort of less consistent with video uploads. They've been really, really good. So massive thanks to G2A for that. So why pick Oriana? Why pick the, uh, the Lady of Clockwork? She in general is a very good blind pick mid. Oriana doesn't have many bad matchups. She's even good into assassins like Zed and Diana to an extent because you have a shield um, and also you can play super defensive in the laning phase, right? So Oriana in general is a solid pick in almost every situation. So you, you, if you're playing mid, you can play Oriana and you don't have to worry too much about getting counterpicked because there aren't many good counterpicks to Oriana. Things like Zed and Yasuo can do well into her, especially if you're able to go aggressive in the laning phase. But, you know, Stasis is going to shut Zed down. And as long as, you, as long as you play relatively safe versus Yasuo, especially a good Yasuo, you're going to be in a good spot. But like I said, there aren't many great counters to Oriana uh, in the game. Uh, and she's generally what we call, consider like a really safe blind pick. So that's the reason, you know, Oriana. But why, why would you pick her? Well, let me bring up the draft. I'm going to show you the draft that you're going to see in this game. And then we'll talk a little bit about it. So I'll actually go back. Um, here we go. This game here. Right. So let's talk about the draft. We were playing into um, a, a Kennen, a Caitlyn, a Fizz, a Lee Sin. Okay. In my mind here, I thought, well, I'm going to need something that's going to be able to kind of poke from distance versus the Kennen. Uh, also, maybe use a shockwave to disengage. I've got a good laning phase versus the Fizz. Obviously, post five, I have to be careful, but like I'm really good in the early lane against the Fizz and he can't really do much against me as long as I don't get ganked by Lee Sin. And I also just thought that it would be necessary to have the range advantage versus something like a Caitlyn uh, because obviously if I, I'm going to need to like try and burst her from range before she absolutely blows me up and you can see this game was a very tough one that you're going to see. Uh, my boy Keys, zero at seven deaths. My boy Shivana in the jungle, seven deaths. Um, but the reason I picked Caitlyn in this scenario is again, I was I was very early on in the draft. I went for a blind pick and it worked out like it was a relatively okay draft. I wouldn't say I would say that Oriana in general is really good into heavy melee compositions, but in this particular draft, it worked fine. So when uh what are you building? Well, I always like to go Luden's first item. You might see a lot of pros go for Archangel's first item, but in my opinion, in solo queue, this sucks. The reason being is a really bad first item spike. This item here sucks as a first item. It, it really sucks. So I often go mana crystal straight into Luden's Echo. Um, this means it's gonna be especially if you go mana crystal first, it does mean it's quite hard to get to the Luden spike for the first dragon fight, but that's fine. Either way, Ludens is a much more powerful spike for Oriana, uh, makes her much more threatening at that stage in the game. You go uh, this item first, you're going to be doing nothing until you get your second item. I go this item into this item into Rabadon's. Your big power spike is Rabadon's death cap. And then every item after that is another little power spike. But this right here, this is when you become really strong. So three items with Rabadon's death cap as your third item. That is when Oriana starts punching really hard so if you're looking to fight or looking to play around oriana you really do want her to have this item right here to make sure that she's super strong this is like the best i would recommend that you always go for barrier um because it's a better defensive spell than heal unless you're playing in a duo lane and i'd say that sometimes you can consider exhaust if there is like a zed or a yasuo and you're scared about their all-in potential exhaust will be much more effective than uh than a barrier when timed correctly I do think that there is cases for Electrocute Oriana, and I think uh, Electrocute Oriana is definitely something that's good into ranged matchups where you're not going to be able to build Conqueror as much, and also into team fights where Conqueror is not going to become activated. But into melee matchups, it's much easier to proc Conqueror, and therefore I'd suggest that it's good. So into the Fizz, it's good. Gathering Storm, because again, like I said, third item spike, you are playing for late game more often than not. So therefore, that, that synergizes well. This is good against Burst, and obviously this is just the standard uh, rune for the laning phase. 
cool i hope you enjoyed this kind of like intro guide to oriana and if this is something that helps you understand oriana a bit better then i'll keep doing it for every champion that i do let me know how you what you think about it in the comments and let's go straight into the game i had to record at 30 fps for this uh this project that i was doing um yeah, yes. I don't know. I think it was like nine episodes of character development is the way I'd put Arcane. It was like nine episodes of character development and character backstory, mm. but but like you didn't not much actually happened realistically. I need to abuse this fizz in lane, boys. Don't come near my minions, Fizz. How'd you tournament go keys? Did you yeah, win? We won. Yeah, we won. But I don't know if we won. I don't even know if we closed the final two. I just turned it. I just turned <laughs> We up won, but I don't know if we won. <laughs> we won all the games we played, but I don't know if we won the tournament. Was it like a league format or something? Or I have no idea. They just tell me I bought a tournament game and I come online. Wait, didn't you said you were going to bed? Naturally. Uh, I was going to, but. <laughs> I feel like it. There's a Lee Sin in my jungle. Any alphas? Ah! Okay, no problem. Okay. We made it, boys. Lee Sin, can you not? Oh, I have to clear this wave. This is so greedy. I couldn't really help that because there was like two minions there. It was kind of hard. Okay, we're going to go back. We're going to go back. I think Fizz got a little greedy there, boys. Leave bot side as well. Yeah, he's um, he burnt a lot to kill me. No flash on Fizz. Did Lee flash? I don't know where Lee is. He he I did see him. He was uh, yeah, he must have he must have yeah. didn't do in bot scuttle. Where that miss? Can't, Can't hit Lulu. Oh no, oh, I'm no. so bad. Wait, so is he? He completely missed his Q. Yeah, he made he means that I thought barely know what Caitlyn does, so it's kinda of hard to play against. She basically has a lot of range. Like, I don't know what her traps do, but I don't know what her basic attacks are like. She's got she's range. got an empowered basic attack. A floor shot? Yeah, but it, it's more like yeah. every eighth it's shot. Underneath <laughs> his, it's underneath her mana. Alright, yeah, I see. The red one. Yeah, the red. Yeah, when it turns red, it's her next auto is empowered. Hmm. Lee's here. Wait, what? See, so Caitlyn is killing with her ult, I think. Yep, yeah, ace in a hole. Yeah, unlucky. Unlucky. I just got ulti as well, so sad. It actually reminded me as well that um, my stream is actually in 720, 30 FPS, because I was trying to stream um, Rune King when I was playing it, but like for some reason at 1080p 60 FPS, it was like super lagging my stream, so I had to change it, but I've got to change it back. Whoops, guess I'm not using any of my content today for YouTube. I'm lucky. It's all right, 720 is not the worst in the world. 720 is not the worst in the world, my man. Okay, I haven't quite finished Ludens yet, but it's fine. Cannon's come down for dragon fight, so we should probably just suck. Are cannon's going around. Wait, can we just not kill Cannon here? Oh wait, be careful. Oh nice no, one. We need to go for we need to go for Rift Herald, honestly, but we're on the wrong side of the map and no one's doing anything. We do, but we have a Shivana who's taking her buff. And he's dead. Why are we even... Shivana's... <laughs> Shivana's oh, doing red buff when they're doing Druid. Yeah, I know, just dumb. But he didn't even get red buff. Oh, I don't know what Shivana's doing. I got double flash ordered. Yeah, I saw that was kind of unlucky. Oof. 
I've got no. My God, her damage is disgusting. I can't really help the. Long as, as long as we get this. Uh, it's not bad. You got Rift Herald, I guess. I'm 2 0. I'm doing fine. Oh, God. I'm dead. Thank you. Oh, man. It came into so much damage. I guess Shiv Shivana just randomly used Rift Herald top. Oh, wait, it might actually get Tower. Okay, it actually got Tower. That's not the worst. Oh, I didn't think they, they would still be there. I'm come down, but you're going to get dived, I think, by the Fizz, maybe. Yeah. Not finished, though. Oh, and Lee. Yep. I would have killed Fizz if Lee wasn't there. Nope. Well, that was a terrible, terrible, terrible ult, but whatever. I thought I was going to catch. Push the way. I'm not really too sure what he was doing, but. We can push, we can push. We can take this tower. Ah, oh, I didn't quite have enough. Oh, we got her. Nice. I like how you slowly change the virus build. I mean, I've been trying it out recently. Like, you just get a power spike earlier. What is you it? went from Man Immune to... Wait, what was it? Man Immune to Dirk and Tia to now Ghost Blade and Tia. Oh, is it? I, I mean, the Ghost Blade Tia thing is from Horizon Cup. Yeah, everyone's been going stupid, like man immune. It's because it's because builds. like it's because like it's more like focused towards like <clears throat> early and trying to get a, an item early on, and then your man your man immune is a bit slower, so your your mid game is not that great. But then when you do oh, get God. it, it's pretty strong. Um, I don't really know what to do in this situation. Go push the side lane. Right, we just get the tower dive. I'm gonna tower dive, but can't. No, I can't. Yeah, I can't. I can. Really I can. Two, I, can two, I can literally two v one. I mean, we don't. Yeah. Like, I mean, I don't want to walk up against Fizz though, because Fizz is bot, so it's kind of scary. My problem is I can't side lane as Noriana, so we we need the um. I do need to get Zonya's ASAP. We just need to try and catch out someone with my ulti, maybe. I'm going vision then. Okay, Dragon's coming up. I'm poking him. As long as we poke him down and we zone him away from Dragon, they can't do anything. Okay, starting Dragon, Lee's coming. Yep. I can ulti Lee, maybe. I think you're also Lee's one. I ulti him, I ulti him to kill him. Q, Q exhaust cannon? Oh, okay, maybe not. Uh, I got his ulted again. How did we I'm lose okay. that entire fight, man? <sighs> we didn't need to do the dragon. We could have just kept poking. Like, we were. Yeah, we, like, started it. Lulu was on like 2 HP. We can't team fight versus this team with it, unless we have the exhaust up for cannon. Like, we literally can't team fight versus this team if we don't have the exhaust for cannon. I was dead before I came in. Yeah, no, I know, I know. That's what I mean. Like, we shouldn't be even trying to get into teamfight unless we're absolutely certain that it can. That's oh. a good chance. Oh, for fuck's sake, Shivana. Hmm. My scoundrel doesn't go live on Twitch because he's not a streamer. I'm 
I'm dead. Yep. <sighs> Actually, so much damage as well. A bit of a rough one. Why is she doing that without me being there? Oh, for fuck's sake. Why is Shivana doing that when I'm not anywhere nearby? Altered on myself as well. Annoying. Lane. Maybe we can do something here. I have ulti. Nice, right, good job. Oh, I can't land the slow. Go mid. Probably the first ulti flash I've ever hit on Varus. Oh, crazy. Kane is so obnoxious. I don't know why you don't play her, to be fair. She's really good. Especially in solo key. Not so good in competitive, I don't think, but really good in solo key. They're going to be in a bush. They're going to be in a bush. Don't think we can contest this dragon, really. Trying to get as much AP as physically possible. This Caitlyn's really fed though. I'm trying to just AFK anyway. Oh, she's back. Oh, she was just clearing top, I think. She's got two Drakes again. Why'd I do this? <laughs> You're a little bit dead in the Why did I do why did I do that? <sighs> Such a bad call from me. I think just back 4v5. Nice. Nice bubble. Caitlin's still free again. Running. Caitlin's still free in. I have no mana. No, I don't know what I did that for. I have such a weird decision by me. I thought we could have done something, but it's not. Monk S. It was a Monk S moment. Is Varus better than Corky? Corky? Yeah, I'd say so. Corky's pretty fun, though. I actually Corky's don't think Varus is that good in solo queue, honestly. I still think he's really, really good. I think he's really good. I, I just think don't so. think he's good in solo queue. I think he's much better in competitive. I think you need a lot of coordination to make Varus work properly. People like Caitlyn are much better in solo queue because you can just basic attack and win the game. Whereas Varus, you need to set up on your ultimate and everything. Oh, the misery. Are they doing it? I'm sure I think so. It could be. I think they're just trying to trap. Yeah, oh trapped. my god, Can man. Heal me? My... Heal me? Heal me. Wait, wait, wait. Bang. She bit. actually just two shot me. We could have killed her, I think. I, I tried to ult her, but couldn't. I can get her. But she actually just two-shot me. She walked forward, she auto-tapped me twice, and I was dead. That's Caitlyn for you. Nice. This guy really wants to trap us. 
I shot a one shot in a few seconds. Oh, they're doing it, they're doing it. Fine. Wait, Fizz is dead? Oh, what a beast! Just say, stay alive, stay alive. Stay alive. Okay, win, win I'm gonna go back, I'm gonna go back. Win the game? Wait, can you actually win? Oh no, he's only two dead, right? Yeah, you two dead. Maybe in him. If you make a mistake, we can win. I'm coming, I'm coming. I have ulti. I don't know, actually. I don't know. Yeah, I'm here. I have ulti. I don't know. Oh, this guy's walking up, he's free. On sex on cannon. I don't think we, can we win? Can we win? We can win, right? We can win. We can win. We can win. We can win. Let's go. Is Nexus? Keep, 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 keep Nexus. hitting Nexus. Any Nexus for that? I'm doing it! I'm doing it! I'm doing it! One more! Yes! Let's yes. go! Wait, this game is so easy. Oh, oh my god. Shavana. Clutch Baron still right in the end. What is that? Excuse me. No one saw my outplay on Caitlyn, man. I just outplayed the crap out of her. What did I just witness, man? What was this game? I need to have a look. At, I need to have a look at my. Uh, I only got sixteen LP. That's really sad. Yeah, I only get seventeen now. I decayed quite a lot as well. To be fair, on this account, I didn't play for a long time. I. I yeah, that Baron still did run the game. I hundred percent deserved this this win. I'm just telling you guys. I had single handed lead after I have a zero seven keys in my team. Hundred percent deserve this win. I got tower died three times. Has zero seven keys on my team. <laughs>